Welcome to 22 and 23. Today's topic is going too fast. So essentially what we're talking about today is premature ejaculation, although I have a question from female anatomy as well. So what is premature ejaculation or orgasming too fast? It's really the definition and diagnosis is a little bit personal. In medical terms, in order to be diagnosed with premature ejaculation, ejaculation has to occur within one minute of penetration and cause distress to the person experiencing it. So if you ejaculate within a minute, but that's okay, then it's not a problem. Um, the other thing to consider is that there have been studies that show the vast majority of people prefer a sexual act um, that will on average last three to seven minutes. So no one expects this to be a marathon anyway. So cut yourself some slack and um, there is a specific diagnosis or definition of premature ejaculation. On to your questions. Question number one. I think my boyfriend has premature ejaculation. He lasts for less than a minute in bed. Honestly, I'm quite satisfied with him since he does oral as well. He does not use a condom. Recently, he's been feeling very frustrated that he comes quickly. I comfort him by saying that I take it as a compliment because he finds me very hot. What else can I do? That is incredibly sweet and a great approach. Um, you sound like a very wonderful partner that you're writing about this, that you are trying to encourage him and that you find pleasure in other things. I mean, that's fantastic. So on the flip side to him, it would sound like this is a premature ejaculation situation because less than a minute causing him distress. So a couple of things, first of all, you mentioned you don't use a condom. He could try a condom. So a thicker condom or a normal condom, one that's not ultra thin or made from enha for enhanced um, pleasure, might reduce a little bit of his sensitivity and help him last a little bit longer if that's important to him. Um, and then the other thing is that there are some topical numbing, not totally numbing, but numbing creams that um, those with a penis can apply to reduce the sensitivity of specifically like the head of the penis and usually apply it about 15 minutes before penetration and then wipe it off completely. Um, but that can also help slow things down. So um, it's gonna be an over-the-counter um, lidocaine containing uh, medication. But um, I think you, are doing everything you can. You sound like a very supportive partner. Um, so condoms, maybe a little topical lidocaine. Question number two. My problem is with my penis going too fast with oral sex. I wanna know if there's something I can do to prevent this problem. Is there something else that I can do to pr improve my performance? So um, one, have your partner slow down too. Just say, oh, that feels, okay, let's take a break, maybe switch roles, whatever. Um, but you can tell your partner, okay, hold on just a second. Um, two, condoms. So again, this previous question, um, you can try a condom and that can reduce some of the sensitivity and might make you last a little bit longer. And then three, again, is that numbing lidocaine solution. Again, 15 minutes before penetration or oral sex and then wipe it off completely so, so your partner doesn't get any. Question number three. I keep ejaculating before getting my penis into her vagina. I have tried so many times and have the same problem. I can't understand why this is happening and how I can control it. Okay, so you are getting very excited and that's okay. First of all, if you're newer to sex, this excitement 
can calm down. If you're in your prime adolescent years where hormones are raging, this will calm down. But um, a couple of things that you could do is really focus more on her first. Maybe doing some like oral or finger stimulation, um, trying to get her excited and feeling good before penetration. Um, and then also trying to, it's great that you're in the moment, maybe not being so in the moment, thinking about other things, thinking about to-do lists, thinking about whatever work you have to do later or, um, or something less exciting. Trying to just take a mental break. You can always ask your partner, can we slow down for a minute? Um, but I would say one, if you're sort of in your hormone prime, this will get better. But two, take a few steps back, maybe focus more on your partner, focus on other things that are not going to make you so excited. You do want to be erect before penetration, but you don't need to be on the edge of orgasm before penetration. Those are my tips. Question number four. What causes premature ejaculation coming very, very fast? And could it be a medical condition? What is the right treatment? So not so much a medical condition. One, I guess maybe the only way it could be a medical condition, and I'm not calling this a medical condition, but oftentimes those who are uncircumcised feel a little bit more stimulation when erect because um, without foreskin, your penis has to some degree gotten used to a little bit of friction and rubbing versus with a foreskin. Um, there's a little bit of protection over the penis at baseline. And so those with the foreskin um, might have a little bit earlier ejaculation, um, but studies show that this is not significant. So the other thing I would say is that there's no real medical condition that causes premature ejaculation. As I've said before, consider condoms. Condoms can also feel good for your partner. So look into some fun kinds. And then, um, and numbing medicine too. Question number five. Is it normal for me to orgasm super fast as a woman in both vaginal and clitoral orgasm? Like it's four minutes and I'm done. I don't know, all my friends struggle to climax and I'm so easy, I feel like there's something wrong with me. One, there's nothing wrong with you. Two, four minutes is super average. Um, three, if you're enjoying it, cool. If you wanna last longer, slow things down. Same deal with those with the penis, just, um, all right, take a break. Maybe I'll focus on my partner for a little while and then get going again. But there's nothing wrong with you at all. Nothing wrong with you. Question number six, is premature ejaculation curable? If so, any recommendations? Like which doctor to see? A urologist, a physician or general practitioner, or any product that you can recommend that might be helpful to overcome the issue? First of all, which doctor to see? Any of them. Second, products. I know I keep saying this in all of these now. Condoms and topical lidocaine numbing solution. I'll put a little product reference or um, example in my show description below. Um, but yeah, that's what I would say. And you can talk to any doctor about it, but lots of stuff you can do beforehand. And question number seven, I've always had premature ejaculation. I've tried several techniques, but nothing works and I don't last with any partner. I need help. First of all, what I would say is now you're nervous. Like, you know that you are very easily aroused and you orgasm easily, talk to your partner beforehand and then slow things down. So, um, just tell your partner beforehand, I, I get really excited or I go really fast. Um, 
I'm going to ask that we maybe slow down every once in a while. I would love to focus on you. Maybe we pull out or switch positions and that can help slow things down, slow the rush down for you too. So talking to your partner might take away some of your nerves and there are some things that your partner then can participate with you on that would slow things down. So communication would be my recommendation for you. And that'll do it for this round of 22 and 23. It's the last one. Stay tuned for 2024.